Hey team, Rob here. We're back for something different today. We've uh, very kindly being loaned the use of a specialized Levo SL e-bike. The uh, friendly folks at Chain Reaction here in Christchurch have uh, hooked me up with this bad boy. So today we are out here at Crocodile XC Mountain Bike Park and we're going to do every trail in the park in one go. So I think with the uh, aid of this bad boy here, we will uh, more than easily be able to knock them off. Pretty sure I could do it on my own power on my enduro, but it's gonna be so much easier on the e-bike. So I think we'll start with the classic, the OG, the original trail here. We're gonna go up Crocodile, all the way up to the top of Kennedy's Bush Road. Now, of course, if you've been riding here a while, you'll know that this trail's had a wee bit of a uh, makeover. In the uh, top section there, there is a left new climbing line, and then the uh, original part of the trail is the descent. But uh, yeah, otherwise, good times. So I'll chuck you on the lid, let's put this baby in boost, and uh, head up the hill. Righto, into boost, let's go up Crocodile. Now I can ride this normally anyway, but uh, oh my gosh. We are monstering it. We have to make sure we set that Strava to e-bike because this is almost too easy. We don't want to be <laughs> Make sure there's no one coming. Right, into crocodile. Come back and do Gorge Road and another lap. Wrong gear. <laughs> oh my gosh, this must be what it feels like to be Anton Cooper. I feel very, <laughs> very powerful. Now, of course, it only works when you're pedaling. So you've got to be in the right gear and keep pedaling, otherwise you lose the assistance. Is this something I've got to remember? Now, you still hear me huffing and puffing, because to go fast, you got to put in the work. But the reward is outstanding.
Ooh. Bit fast, we bit offline. Right out, one more hairpin. That was a tough one. Right. Plants out all you bit. Oh, pedal strike. Alright, away we go. Already this just feels so amazing. With this being the SL model, it's uh, built to be more lightweight. So it's got smaller battery capacity, less powerful motor, but uh, she's still ripping. Up we go. Righto, this is where the original crocodile splits, so we're going left into the new climbing line and right is the original crocodile trail, but that's the descending only now. This wee section here is a real slog on the acoustic bike. And even on the electric bike, we're not uh, we're not flying up. Because you still need to put your own energy in. But man, we got a lot faster than what I would on my enduro. Uh, on the right there, that's uh, that's the original crocodile, but in the down direction.
Right, right, here we are, Kennedy's Hub. The uh, top of the cross country park. Whoa, -way. first impressions after one climb. This is amazing. I'm huffing, you still have to put the effort in because uh, the bike doesn't do anything that you're not doing. So you've got to put in the work, the bike puts in the work for you. But yeah, on boost, man, we were flying. So let's, uh, let's head down the hill. Alright, let's go. No cut lines for us. It is helpful for those wee accelerations out of corners. The extra weight down low makes the bike feel so stable and planted on the trail. Oh. Right, off Crocodile, we're gonna go right onto deviation. Seat up, this is where the, the turbo comes in handy. We are ripping. It's definitely affected less by braking bumps. Right, we've been out and gone all the way up Crocodile up. Crocodile down and then deviation. So now what we'll do is uh, I think we'll go back into Gorge Road and Al's Alternative, which are in the middle of the valley there. Then we'll come back up here to Deviation Hub and we'll start on Crock Pot and just work our way across the hill. Okay, let's go get Gorge Road. Gorge Road, let's go. Now Gorge Road on an acoustic bike is a bit of a slog too. And uh, it's probably not a trail many people ride, but... It's there if you want to change your loops up a wee bit instead of doing the same old, same old, same old. Right now, Gorge Road gets us into Al's alternative. 
which starts up by Crocodile Rock. Now the alternative takes it a couple of ways, either down there, back to Crocodile, or up here, and gets you to the start of C2. Righto, let's go crock pot, starting off with the rock climb. <laughs> of course, that's quite different to because when you put the power down, it surges in ways that you might not expect when you're not used to it like I'm not. <laughs> right through the grater. Take the high line, almost. Oi! Huh. I've ridden before, but man, you hit them so much faster. Back to the main hub. Righto, we've done crock pot. Obviously, we've come up crocodile. Next descent, lower deviation. Always a crowd favourite. Turn it high line. All right, back into alligator, back up to dev hub. Righto, lower dev done. Next we got Rick rolled. We gotta do the rock. Another time up alligator, you would do a few of those to do some laps. Right, let's head into off the cuff. Nice blue intermediate trail with a couple of tech features. Got nothing too drastic really. Can't right, stay nice and high around here. There's a new outside line.
Or we've got to be scanning for those new lines. As long as they're not cut lines. No one wants a cut line. Right on to down and out. Right, we'll take the easy way around on this lap. Then we'll hit the 45 uh, next time round. Righto, C2 link. And from C2 link, we have this hairpin turn. Right, let's try this hairpin off C2 into alligator. Oh yes, look at that. Righto, alligator. Take the right line to get lined up for these roots nicely. Right around the outside. Stay on the trail. Right, I suppose if we're working our way across, we'll do Cooper's next day. It's always exhilarating. Uh. Woo. Always get a bit of a adrenaline rush out of Coopers. Right out. Forty five. Yeah. Righto, last trail off Deviation Hub is Spurious. So let's get it. Definitely haven't done Spurious for a minute. Now, we'll head to the other side of the valley, where we have the upper crust climb. Alright, other side of the valley, we've got the upper crust climb. Murphs. Double exposure. And mishmash. A lot of rocks coming out on this bottom section of the upper crust climb. Just have to really be careful of the pedal strikes.
Alright, up across to the left. Mercer's down there to the right. We'll be going down there next. No, we didn't lose that. Right, here we are at Murphs. A few ways you can get in. Tight inside. Standard middle line. If you're coming from C2 this way, you can hop out to the uh, your right. Right, at Murphs. Alternate line or the step up line. Whee! Easy to pedal out of there on the e bike. Not sure what all these lines are, but. I gotta take the A line, eh? Show the easy line, things we're riding every trail. Right, double exposure take two. Let's not blow off the side of the trail straight into that rock. Haha, <laughs> doesn't look like double exposure gets much uh, riding. That's okay, we like it. Right, get rid of the speed.
Mishmash is the uh, furthest away from the main trails. Starts off uh, halfway up C2. So, yeah, it's an advanced trail. It's got some steep, tight corners. So, let's go, Mishmash. Oh, this bike is just so planted. Haven't ridden mishmash in a, mishmash in a hot minute. All right, there's a wee bit of a drop. Bit of a climb, then we got rock garden. Into the water jump, right garden path, nice little green trail in the bay, well in the basin of the croc park. Garden path's got a couple of alternate lines. The steps that we're on now. Absolutely no problem for the Levo. We have a, a wee bit of a North Shore skinny there. So we have the alternate entrance. Set off the water jump. Now instead of taking the stairs, we'll take the rolls. Instead of taking the wee bridge, we'll just go around the side. Okay, after Garden Path, we went and did upload and then download. Uh, I made a bit of a mistake and I think I turned the camera off instead of on. So uh, we've got some footage here of upload and uh, you'll just have to take my word that we did download. But uh, now let's go do full C2. Righto, another way to get to the top of the hill instead of going up Crocodile, which is a bit of a grunt, is uh, C2, which is the second trail built here. So C2 takes you here from the deck, up the other side of the hill where you go past Mishmash, double exposure, Murphs out into the open, where you can drop left down onto Crocodile, or go right, take the easier Tiggers track. So that is where we will go now. Full C2 out into the open, up to Triggers, back to Crocodile Rock.
far as we go up, we'll see Mesh Mesh just here on our left. So this bike definitely doesn't do all the work, you have to put in the work. And uh, as the ride's going on, I'm getting tired. I can't quite smash the cadence like I was at the start. And maybe I could do all these on my own, under my own steam, but uh, I'd be hurting. We certainly wouldn't be going this fast this late in the day. These bikes are amazing. If you haven't tried one out, oh, I put it off for so long because <laughs> can't really afford one. And when I go back to my own bike, I might be sad. But oh, geez, for something on a day like this. Hey you going? You all good? Yeah, good. Righto, up onto Tiggers we go. Split lane there for passing. We'll take the low line. Especially when the trail flattens off. Man, you can go fast. Righto, you just go left down to Poplar Hub where you can get on to uh, Deviation, L's Alternative, which you can see uh, there going down the hill. Or uh, you could turn left here, same spot, but we'll go right and the continuation right up the hill of the Tiggers gets you to the cattle stop. On Crocodile Up. Here we are. So we will uh, turn around, head back down the hill. Righto guys, that was every trail in Crocodile Mountain Bike Park in one day. Now, I probably could have managed this on my own bike but there were some hills we went up seven or eight times to get the next trail off that particular hub and tell you what man the levo made that so easy now it doesn't do all the work for you you still have to put in the effort i'm tired i was sweating my heart rate was up but it just gives you the power to go places i can't thank chain reaction in christchurch enough for uh, the use of this fella today Absolutely stunning. If you want to give one of these a ride for yourselves, see how amazing e-biking actually is, go hit up Chain Reaction, tell them Rob sent you in, the boys and the girls will look after you amazingly. I, I've been going Chain for a long time. They are amazing and I don't feel the need to change. So yeah, specialised. You can, uh, if you want to lend me one of these for a year, I'm not going to say no. I will sell e-bikes for you. Hit me up. All right, well, Crocodile XC Mountain Bike Park never disappoints, and today was no different. The trails are running fantastic here. If you uh, haven't been out, I don't know why not, because it is a spectacular place to come out and do laps. You can just come out and round and round and round, and it's got trails to everyone. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. It is an amazing place to come to ride to up your skill level, because it has beginner's trails, intermediate trails, expert trails. It's got stuff for everyone. And because the climbs are only little, you can just do the trail, go back up, do it again, and just progress a little, a little, a little. Whew, Crocodile Park. Fantastic. What a place. Specialised Levo SL, what a bike. So, uh, on that bombshell team, like if you've liked, subscribe for more. Until next time, team, ride on.